Hello, hello guys. Welcome back. It's this kid and it's been a while since we've uploaded a video. So what I want to do right now is just talk about all the mounts that we can get from 10.1 and that way we're going to get ready for 10.2 coming up here shortly. So jumping right back into it, the first mount is going to be the Winding Slither Drake and this one probably most people already have. This is just the dragon riding mount that's new from Zerilek Cavern. You get it from the main quest chain. All you gotta do is pretty much unlock Zerilek Cavern and you'll get it. The second and third mount are gonna be the seasonal mounts. The first one is gonna be the Keystone Master mount and it's gonna be called the Inferno Armordon. For this mount, just like every other Keystone Master mount, all you gotta do is get the achievement Keystone Master for the season and that typically comes from doing 15s of all the dungeons that are available for the season. So plus 15, tyrannical and fortified. Sometimes you can get away with doing some 14s or some 13s, but typically you want to do everything at a 15 keystone level. And of course, the second seasonal mount is going to be the Obsidian Gladiator Slither Drake, and this is going to come from the Gladiator achievement for the season. What you have to do is hit 2400 in 3v3 arena. Then once you hit 2400, you have to win 50 games above that rating. There's also going to be the ranked PvP grinding mounts, where you pretty much just go into the honor tab, you have a bar to fill up, and you just do ranked PvP content throughout the season. Eventually you'll hit 100%, and the best way to do that is going to be RBGs. You get a little bit more percentage per RBG as opposed to arenas. And these are going to be the Vicious War Snails. There's going to be one for the Horde and one for the Alliance. You can always get these after the season is over by using a Vicious Saddle. The next mount that we have here that's going to be pretty straightforward is going to be the Shadow Flame Shale Wing. And that's going to come from the achievement Glory of the Avarice Raider. So not only finishing the raid, but getting all the achievements that come from the raid as well. And then the last mount that's going to be extremely straightforward is going to be the Morsel Sniffer Reigns. That's just going to be something that's bought for 800 supplies from the Gloam Niffin Quartermaster. All you got to do for this is hit rank 18 Renown with Gloam Niffin. That's the new reputation from Zerilek Cavern. Pretty straightforward, just got to buy it. The next mount we have is going to be the Cobalt Shale Wing. And that's going to be a drop from the rare Karakta. It's just going to be a random rare that spawns throughout Zerilak Cavern. I can post the coordinates here. Now the drop chance for this used to be absolutely insane. It used to be somewhere around 1 in 1000 or 1 in 2000. But since then Blizzard has updated this. They've buffed the drop chance and I would imagine it's somewhere around 1 in 100 now. The next mount that is going to be a drop per se is going to be the Flaming Shale Wing Subject 01. And this is going to come from the Researchers Under Fire event in the middle of Zerilek Cavern. All you got to do is complete the event and participate in some way. Hit an enemy once and you'll get a bag at the end of the event. Once you get that bag, you'll have a chance to get them out from the bag. And depending on which bag you get, there's some rare bags, some green bags, some white bags. All of these have different chances of giving them out. What's cool here though is I think you can get four different quality bags, so up to four chances for the mount each week. The next mount is going to be called Boulder Hauler Reigns, and that's going to be sold by Ponzo. Ponzo is going to be selling these for 85 barter boulders, and for me there's two ways to get these barter boulders. The first way is going to be completing the two quests in Valdraken that award the barter boulders. You're going to get five from each quest. That's going to be 10 per week. And the other way to get them is just to buy them. Once you hit max renown, you can buy them from the quartermaster for 100 dragon isle supplies. I think by the time I hit max renown, I only had to buy 30 or 40 or so. So it's not terrible. I think there are some other ways to get barter boulders, but those are by far the most efficient. So I would just focus on those for this mount. The next two mounts are going to be pretty straightforward as well. They're going to be the Igneous Shale Wing and the Subterranean Mag Mammoth. These mounts are going to be bought with 400 and 100 Coveted Baubles respectively. And how you get these Coveted Baubles is pretty easy. All you got to do is there are little events going on in Zerilek Cavern. It's not going to be the world quests, but there are little horns that start events. Once you complete one of those events, it'll reward you with a bag. And in the bag usually are unearthed Fragrant Coins. 
You can also get a lot of these from the researchers under fire event. But once you get some of those, you're going to go to Spin Soa and he'll sell some other things. But if you want the mounts, all you're going to do is exchange the unearthed coins for the coveted baubles. You're going to do this as many times as it takes and you're going to go a little bit next door to another vendor called Sacritos and he's going to be selling both of those mounts. The next mount is going to actually be very tricky. It's going to be called the Seething Slug. Now what you're going to want to do for this mount is you're going to go to the western part of Zerilet Cavern and around the section where you can get knocked off your mount, you're going to want to go and find three seething orbs. Now these orbs are randomly spawned and they're definitely not always up, but what you want to do is you want to go and find them, click on them, and you're going to get a debuff. Once you get three stacks of this debuff by finding three different orbs, you're going to first see a system message. The system message is going to read, you hear a dark hiss from the northern shrine. At that point, you're going to head to this location here. And after that, there's going to be a big seething orb in the middle of this shrine on top of the lava. You're going to click that and you're going to get the mount. Now, there's a couple things to note here. The first thing is that other people can beat you to finding these orbs. And if they do, then you're out of luck and you have to reset. The next thing is that this zone is filled with elite mobs. So ideally what you want to do is you want to die and then fly around looking for the orbs while you're dead. In general, just to look for them, it's a lot easier to find them when you're dead because you're not getting shot down constantly. And on top of that, obviously you can't die by the elite mobs if you're already dead. As far as where the orbs are, I'll post all the locations that I know currently here. I'll also post these in the description, but in general, I do want to say that you can also realm hop. So I would say once you go through and get through all the orbs on your server, maybe you don't see a third, try and realm hop and you might be able to see that third on someone else's realm. So that's about all I've got for Seething Slug. I want to wish everyone that tries to farm that good luck. It's a hard one. And the final mount for patch 10.1 in Zerlet Cavern is going to be Big Slick in the City. So Big Slick in the City is going to be a reward from the quest Snailed It, and this is going to be given to you by Briggle once you reach rank 5 with the reputation Glimmerog Racer. Now there's basically two ways to gain rep. The first way is just going to be doing the daily quest that's offered by Briggle. The other way is going to be by showing Briggle that you have a level 25 of one of the following snails. Each time that you bring one of these snails to Briggle, he'll be very impressed and he'll offer you a quest. It's going to be a one-time quest, but it's going to give you 100 reputation per snail. Now, since there are 15 snails here, that's going to be 1500 rep, which is going to cover two of the rep tiers. So basically, if you just got to tier two, you're going to boost all the way up to tier four. However, that means you would have to have level 25s of each of these pets. And I would not recommend spending a ton of time doing that because it might take more time than it's even worth. But either way, once you get done with that, you get to tier 5 of the reputation, you get the quest called Snailed It, and then you get the mount. And those are going to be all of the mounts that are going to come from patch 10.1. I'll probably come out with more guides. Something probably for Forbidden Reach, and then maybe something for the new time rifts that just came out. But with that being said, you guys have a good rest of the night, or a good rest of the day, and I'll see you later. Bye.